Hey guys, Kirill here and today I have another review. This time it's on Royal Water by Creed. I believe this is my third Creed review. So let's jump in it and find out what I think of the fragrance. What this smells like. When this fragrance opens up, I get a strong lime presence. It's a strong lime blast. And there's some bergamot in there I believe as well. Uh, in, the, in the note breakdown it just says citruses, but I do get the lime, strong lime with semi-strong bergamot. Uh, as it dries down, the basil comes in strongly, becomes the dominant player, so fragrance becomes a green citrus scent. And in the dry down, the basil remains throughout the whole fragrance, and you get a musky dry down. So, uh, overall, the smell that I just described is also covered by this like floral cloud that just uh, hammers over, and uh, if that's even a word, <laughs> and, uh, and it just kind of envelops all these notes by giving this kind of floral, slightly floral aura. Also this fragrance is powdery, a touch soapy, uh, and that's pretty much the smell. Longevity and projection of this fragrance are very good. I did get at least eight hours of longevity and uh, after six hours of wearing the scent I was at the gym and I was working out and this one was smelled by me six hours later. A very nice job. I want to say eight plus hours for longevity, six plus hours for strong projection. It's going to be noticed uh, when you wear this fragrance. Very nice projection of longevity. Versatility is very good, but not excellent. I could see somebody wearing the scent any day of the season, making it their signature scent. For me, though, it's not the type of fragrance that you'd wear to a first date or romantic setting, partying. This is not that type of fragrance. It is more of an elegant scent. You could wear it casually as well, however, in any season, so it all depends on the person. Age, this is a more mature scent. A perfect person I could see wearing the scent is a beautiful woman. Uh, when I say woman, I'm not talking about girls. I'm talking about like a 30-year-old mature, elegant, not sexy, not hot, like an elegant beauty, a very sophisticated beauty. And that type of like a 30, 35-year-old woman perfect this fragrance is perfect for that type of person it is unisex if you wear it as a man nobody will think you smell uh, like a woman but it, uh, on a woman it will be gorgeous uh, so I want to say uh, 25 all the way up to 70 80 uh, doesn't matter how up you go how high you go in age you can pull this one off no problem season spring this one screams spring to me uh, but if you want, you can wear in any non-extreme temperature, not too hot, not too cold, or I mean not too hot, not too cold, and, uh, and it'll be good. So, But spring predominantly. Very nice, like a floral vibe. You get citruses on the top, make it bright, and then the green comes in, perfect for spring. Love it in that season. The shining part, to be honest with you, I'm not really digging any part of the scent, <laughs> uh, but I like the top notes. I like that citrus. Even though I don't really like it, I've smelled better citrus openings than this one. I've smelled better basil dry downs as well, so... I don't know. It's just kind of all not impressive for me, to be honest with you. Opponent Cologne, this is where I break this fragrance down. When it opens up with a lime and that powder, it's just like this. Similar. Similar to this. This one is more powdery, a lot more powdery, but exactly the same lime note uh, that I pick up. From what I can remember, this fragrance smells like it's a very similar lime note. I have not worn this one quite quite a bit, but uh, when I did wear it, it, uh, it I got the lime and I get the same vibe here. This is less powdery though, more fresh. As it dries down, you get another bad boy coming through, the new uh, Yves Saint Laurent L'Homme Libre. Uh, this one is more mature, uh, not not more mature. I'm sorry, this is a more mature fragrance as well, but this is more masculine. Uh, and uh, it is it is better in my opinion. It's it's more more masculine. This is fresher. This is a little bit less fresh. Actually, a lot less fresh. So, pretty much um, w what I want to say about this one is, you can make a designer fragrance that's better. In my opinion, this fragrance is better than this. Um, nothing really out outstanding. I could actually see somebody at a cheap designer market making scent that's. The, almost exactly like this not impressive for the price creed disappointed me so uh, opponent cologne I'm gonna pick out of these two Lone Libra the dry down the basil dry down similar this is fresher this is more uh, masculine who wins Libra wins for the price for this way it smells I enjoy wearing Libra 
I don't enjoy wearing this as much. Would I buy this cologne? I would not buy this for the price, $300 Creed demands. I would not even buy it for 100 bucks. That's how much I don't care for this fragrance. I'd rather not wear anything than wear this. Uh, I have so many bottles in my collection that this will never get any play. I don't enjoy this fragrance um, too much. Okay, so for the rating, I'm going to give this 1.5 out of 4 for smell. This one, I'm not saying it's not quality. I do enjoy the individual notes, but a mix of the way they're mixed, this combination of notes is not something that I like in a fragrance. Uh, it is quite uh, frankly boring and not sexy at all. Um, no point in wearing this. The smell is not for me. 1.5 out of 4. Longevity projection, I gotta give them credit. Full marks, 2 out of 2 for both of those. And versatility, 1.5 out of 2. It is versatile. I would not wear this uh, in a in a in some sexy atmosphere, in a club, in a bar, uh, on a date. But it is a nice, uh, sophisticated, elegant event, no problem. And the casual events, no problem as well. So 1.5 out of 2. Those are the marks it deserves for versatility. So total score is 7 out of 10 for this fragrance. If I want to consider the price point, I would make it even lower, 6.5, just because it's so damn expensive. Uh, so you pick the rating, I say 7. Um, some people might really like this one. Uh, any women around their 30s that, that are watching, check this one out. You might really enjoy it if you enjoy what I described to you right now. So that's it for royal water i'm not gonna buy it i'm not a fan uh i have to give my uh, i had to give my take on this fragrance because i know some people are talking about it some people are really enjoying it i just want to let you know that i don't enjoy it that much so that's it kirill you can check this one out i wouldn't if i was you but to each its own i'll see you with more reviews guys